Normally, you ride in the mountains, the fastest stuff is the foothills. And these are like peaks, but tons of foothills everywhere. The speed is there. So fast. But then you're also getting like this big mountain feel. You're seeing glaciers and, and snow and it's heavy, kind of. You're like, wow, this is a big deal. I've heard a few people saying race, but I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I think that we're being timed, but this is like a celebration of our riding culture. The first thing people talk about is the trails and the, the quality of the terrain. And then obviously the whole camp scene, the vibe around camp, the food. this fine meal. Look at that. How could you not be? Wow. That would be amazing. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Every single day is kind of a little bit of a mystery. We get kind of a rundown of what the trails are going to be like. We have an idea of what the weather is going to be like, but don't really know until you're there. Yeah, the weather's looking good right now, but it looks like the snow clouds are moving in for sure so it's good man we're ready for a few feet of snow here so prepared i'd be stoked to see some snow that could be pretty exhilarating my loving is for free you've never seen it before but it's just like unwrapping in front of you just how you want it to and it's it's like you're doing really dangerous stuff but it's somehow it's kind of safe it's just a really thick forest with really big mountains and we can get up in the alpine and get a little alpine treat and then drop back into these like mega descents through big trees. Get to ride really amazing trails every single day. It's been really fun getting to know so many different people in like a short amount of time. I think what one of the things that's really cool about this trip is how much care that the volunteers give to the riders. Thought it'd be a cool opportunity to ask my dad, hey, would you like to volunteer? And then he agreed and, and then this is his second year now coming and doing it. I came up last year for the first time because I wanted to spend some time with my son and see him in an environment where he's passionate about because parents rarely get to see that. I mean, why not travel a couple hundred miles, spend a couple hundred dollars to wash dishes? I mean, what sane person would do that? <laughs> I am your royal dishwasher. First trans -case I came to, I got my ass handed to me. You know, you have all these ex-pros, current AMs, guys with like 20 years on their legs, and here I am, some freaking knucklehead, you know, with two to three years. and. From then I learned I wanted, I wanted to get better and I, the only way to do that is to keep putting yourself in these situations and so that made me want to really work and kind of get that, that stamina, that strength and be able to ride with these guys. Matt Hunter and Thomas Vanderham were there and I knew who they were and yeah, these two free ride legends that I've seen all the videos on. Hey, man. Four undies, four undies, bud. <laughs> it was cool to meet him and then he's here now just killing it. His dad's helping out, they're hanging together, it's so cool. Old people like me have no passion, generally speaking. This makes me feel alive. I don't think you need to come here like super ultra fit or like ultra anything. Just like ditching the ego and not being worried about, you know, how fast I'm going or, you know, if I'm keeping up or anything like that and just enjoying that moment. I think the community here yeah. and the time we get to spend with each other is way more influential on this event than the actual racing. When you're out here and you're you're with all these people and like having like such an amazing time, it's pretty easy to feel like, yep, this is the right thing. I'm doing the right thing. 
Transcascade is inspiring, man. Yeah. <laughs>